Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you my recipe for Lebanese Busa Blavin. To start off, I've got about 15 pieces of Lebanese zucchini, which I'm cutting the tops and bottoms off. I'm now going to core out the inside of the zucchini in order for me to stuff them. This is the trickiest part, and trust me, I still crack some every time I make gusa. Once I've caught out all the zucchini, I give them a good wash and set them aside while I prepare my stuffing. I have washed one cup of medium grain rice, and to this I will add one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of Lebanese seven spices, one tablespoon of butter, and 250 grams of minced beef. You could also use lamb mince if you prefer. Mix all the ingredients together, and now we're ready to stuff the zucchini. You want to fill the zucchini about three quarters of the way, and try not to compact the rice mix. Just drop the mix in and tap lightly on the palm of your hand to help the rice mix move to the bottom of the zucchini. Once they're all stuffed, set them aside and prepare your garlic. I have five cloves of garlic that I'm peeling and placing in my mortar and pestle with about a teaspoon of salt. Then crush them till they're finely crushed. I'm also going to add about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and mix that into the garlic. Set it aside and grab a large pot. I'm now going to prepare my yogurt. To a large pot, add six cups of Greek yogurt, one tablespoon of salt, and then in a cup, add one heaped tablespoon of corn flour and a little bit of water and dissolve them together. Mix it well and add it to your yogurt. Then I'm going to add six cups of water to my yogurt and mix that in well with a whisk. Once that's mixed, I'm going to move my pot over to the stove on a medium heat. The next step will be the most important step. You will need to continuously whisk the yogurt while it's on the stove. If you stop mixing while the yogurt is on the stove, it will split and you'll have to start again. Keep whisking the yogurt until you notice the yogurt starting to simmer. Once you see it simmering, you're, you can reduce the heat to a low heat, add your garlic mix, and then add two tablespoons of dried mint leaves. Mix these in well, and then you can gently drop your stuffed zucchini to the pot. Give them another mix, and then come back to them every 10 minutes and give them a gentle mix. The zucchini will need to boil for at least one hour on a low heat before they will be ready to eat. After about an hour, you will see that the liquid has reduced and the zucchini have become a more pale green color. You're now ready to serve and enjoy the kusa. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll post more videos soon. Enjoy.